and give your board better visibility to your end of year fundraising campaigns. I am Karen Canoe, a customer success manager on the onboard team, and my co-host today is my teammate Jillian Walker. We both focus on our nonprofit clients, and we are excited to be having this conversation with you today. We are also joined by implementation managers, Jenny Washington, and customer, customer success manager, Brian Martin, who will be moderating today's Q&A and chat. Thanks, Karen. So let's get started. After a little housekeeping, we're gonna dive into rethinking about using your onboard portal for more than just traditional meetings, as well as focusing internally for efficient planning, and then externally for engaging the board um, in campaign call to actions. So last, then we're gonna, we're gonna open it up to all of you, hopefully for some questions and maybe a little conversation. So this webinar came about from a conversation with one of our newer implemented organizations, and they were looking for ways to leverage this tool to check more boxes. So we talked about challenges this year, right? Dealing with COVID, and they really expressed concern um, with fundraising, specifically Giving Tuesday. So this organization isn't facing these issues alone. This is affecting so many of us. Likely everyone that has joined us today is also concerned about fundraising and looking for ways to overcome this challenge. So we brainstormed and we thought about how we could leverage Onboard a little bit more. And then as a team, we thought, well, this would be a really great conversation to have with all of our nonprofit accounts. So whether you're education, healthcare, Calls and Cure Foundation, et cetera, you know, fundraising is going to be hard over the next few years. So how can we help you leverage what you have? Awesome. Thanks, Jillian. Uh, before we dive in, we're going to cover a few housekeeping items. Um, first of all, all of our attendees' mics are muted. So if you have any questions, uh, feel, feel free to um, please use the chat and Q&A function. You can also raise your hand and uh, Jenny or Brian will reach out to you directly. Awesome. So at the end of this time together, we want you to walk away with three key pieces of knowledge, right? So one, that your calendar can be more than just a calendar. Two, with that, how to focus on staff alignment. And then three, how to keep your board in the loop for that campaign messaging. Again, you're already paying for this portal. Let's get creative about how we can make it work harder for you. And we really want to spark those ideas about how to use Onboard in creative ways. So, but first, we want to hear, you know, who is currently using your portal? Um, we're going to do a quick poll. I'm going to launch it now. Here we go. So we're going to do a quick poll. Uh, just to ask how you're using it. So is it just your board? Is it your board and you know, committees? Is it your leadership team? Is it all? Um, is it other? Maybe you have another, you know, another way that you're using it, but we're really curious about how you use it. And that helps us get creative for you. Looks like we have some responses coming in. Nice. Thanks guys, let's give it a couple more seconds. So it looks it's really leaning heavy, obviously external board. And we get that, right? We're a board portal. So board and committees, we knew that would be the highest. Um, but we wanna talk about today to see if we could brainstorm together um, and maybe spark a little curiosity about how we can possibly use your board portal um, maybe a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna take this off of the screen. Perfect. Uh, so, did I do that? I might have messed that up. Okay, so let's talk about calendar. So I have to say that thinking outside the box is my favorite thing. Um, Jenny on this call is actually one of those people that kind of sparked that in me about thinking out of the box ways. Um, so out of the box is my favorite thing to do as well as getting more out of your product. Um, so with Onboard, a great example of that is your calendar. So your calendar isn't just about building books. Right, so for this webinar, we're gonna highlight your calendar for product management or what I like to call living campaigns. So that one place of truth where everything is current. Think efficiency and organization where everyone contributes. So we're even working now with an organization out of Canada that's implementing this concept and we may have to do a little bit of a follow-up because I'd really like to hear results. So maybe from some of you, we might reach out later as well as sharing theirs. So on the screen, you can see 
um, your calendar laid out. So it's normal, right? Both meetings, but now we've also added campaigns. If you notice the titles, right, they're updated a little bit different, a campaign versus a meeting. You also see they have longer date ranges, so it stays in upcoming meetings. So let's dive deeper into that Giving Tuesday, that August 3rd meeting. Awesome. So when it comes to campaigns, it's not about the book. It is agenda, agenda, agenda. So from this slide, you can see all teams are involved, right? That little arrow, it shows marketing's involved, finance is involved, your development teams are involved, and they're building out the campaign agenda as, again, that single source of truth. So all of these documents are current. When one of them goes out of date, you put the other one in. So as all teams working together on this project, they wanna have up-to-date and vital information for an aligned and, and successful campaign. So documents can be uploaded or linked from resources as well, right? You can see that in B, because think of last year's data. No one wants to pull all of that information out of resources just to upload. Again, you're not building a book. So remember, this is a collaborative project. Awesome, thanks Jillian. Um, so we're also gonna take a look at onboard tasks and how we can keep everything collaborative. Oops, there we go, sorry about that. Um, what's great about onboard tasks is that any permission level can create and assign a task to any other user within the portal. You can assign a task to an individual or to a group. If you have a manager or committee that is monitoring a task, they can be assigned as a viewer. It's a great way to keep everyone accountable and to stay on track. Um, in the first example here, you can see that the task is for a specific meeting, regardless of the team. The second meeting or the second example is a task that is assigned directly to a team. Also, what's cool about tasks is you can use it as a personal checklist. You don't have to assign, it doesn't have to be assigned to a meeting or a campaign. You can create a task for yourself and monitor along the steps um, in order to create your overall bigger task. A second poll question here, and we're going to ask, how often does your team utilize tasks today? And it looks like we have that now up and going. Yeah. Awesome. And it looks like some of you do have tasks, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the majority of people um, saying that they are currently not using tasks. Some are um, very little, and um, we have a few that are just uh, using it often. All right, keeping going, uh, we're going to jump on into um, Messenger. So um, keeping a single place of truth, as Jillian has mentioned, we can also keep conversations centralized um, within Onboard. We want to highlight that keeping the conversation out of text messaging and as well as email, where you might accidentally delete, um, where you might accidentally exclude a person, or you may accidentally delete an email. Karen, I could not agree more about email. So let's move from internal staff to our external board. So keeping your board in the loop with ongoing campaigns like a Giving Tuesday um, could become really, really email heavy. So leaning in onto those announcements could save that redundancy, right, from extra communication. Um, I know, again, we've said it now, I think like four times that we beat this single source of truth to death, but it's really creating a landing page where your board sees clear and concise updates, you know, as well as call to actions needed that can only benefit fundraising efforts. Um, personally, I've had a lot of conversations lately about announcements and a lot of people just need to check your org settings, make sure that your board is landing on this landing page as opposed to just their calendar. And so this way they become sticky to that portal. This is where they know they're going to get that information. Um, this is where you know you can update them. And so everything is current and all of those asks are current and everywhere and everything is right in the right place. And then I wanna circle back to Messenger and I know Karen touched on it um, for your internal staff, right? So keeping those groups, um, but don't forget your board is a group too. Um, don't forget to use your board for discussion, for those quick updates, for those call to actions. Um, if you're not using them, you're missing a great opportunity to engage your board even more. So just like the slide says, use Messenger for items that are timely, time sensitive, um, by encouraging your board to allow, as always we like to say, push notifications, allow push notifications to your phone so they get that information quickly. Because if one board member has a question, I guarantee they all have a question. <laughs> 
That's right. So just to summarize uh, the key takeaways from today's session, uh, number one, we can use your calendar for more than just a book builder. You can use it to manage and organize ongoing campaigns and meetings outside of your board book. Number two, when all of your staff are on the same page, uh, efficient your, everyone is accountable and efficiency is going to go up. And number three, board members that are in the loop and are engaged are more active in your mission's fundraising. Remember more than uh, anything, it's really important to spark a conversation on how to use Onboard. So Jillian and I encourage you to reach out to us um, to see how you are currently using it or how you want to use your portal and we can help you guys brainstorm. Thanks, Karen. Really great wrap up. Um, okay, so with that, again, this was a very short but really concise and I hope it sparked a lot of creativity with you. So with that, you know, what questions or comments do you have for us today? We'd love to start the conversation. Um, as always, if you are shy or think of something later, you can always reach out to your CSM. I'm really grateful for everyone coming today. Karen, thank you so much for being a co-host with me. Thank you, Brian and Jenny, for joining in the conversation and adding to this a bit more. Um, and we're grateful for all of you. So have a great rest of your afternoon. <laughs>